beautiful sun has come to Davos. And the Swedish lunch is here again. The fifth annual Swedish lunch. Yeah, the Swedish lunch is something that uh, you know, the Weedy Grants have started five years ago. And I think the overarching topic is really sustainability. And I think um, there is no better location than Shots Up. I believe it's a platform for all of us who are doing uh, work in the world that they wanted to give us um, a stage to speak on. This is not just a playground for the wealthy, but a, with wealth comes great responsibility and we have to use these platforms and these stages to do good as well. It's very exciting, it's very beautiful, it's like a little dream to be here. I don't know about you, but I've never been to a venue like this at the top of a hill. The view is amazing, and I don't think any conference that I'll ever attend in my life will ever be able to surpass this. So we, uh, Volvo Cars, are partner of the initiative Swedish Lunch. Uh, we think it's a great initiative bringing together Swedish uh, companies or people working also in the context of Sweden with other people from, and companies from all over the world and that's why we are supporting this. There are very diverse people here. You have people from Russia, you have people from the States, Sweden, of course, some with very competing agendas, the Chinese versus the United States, etc. Um, this is a place for private dialogue, and maybe we can go and bring people together. There's also a lot of technology here. I have to say that one of the, my favorites here is seeing a lot of new technologies that are, have been introduced, and hopefully I can bring that back to, to, my, to, my, to my line of work. Swedish lunch is incredible. It's uh, an amazing venue, perfect weather, but most importantly, a terrific set of uh, guests. I'm really looking forward to networking with everybody. Also looking forward to the very dynamic discussions. We're going to have a great panel here shortly on impact investing. We are so happy to have all of you guys here. The first panel on central banking where we have the Bank of England and the Swedish Central Bank will start shortly, so please come over here and take your seat. I'm really mostly concerned with two things. One is around sustainability, the green elements of how do we make, how do we transition our global economy to a more sustainable one. And the second one is around technology. And what's interesting is the two of them actually work incredibly well together. And the Ricks Bank and the Bank of England are, without a doubt, two of the world leaders in driving sustainability and technology around the world. And having the discussion today around that with Cecilia Kingsley was actually quite a treat between, for the two of us. The importance of Davos is not staying here. And if you think about the populist movements, the things that we're talking about, sustainability, how technology can make your life better, it should be basically brought out to everyone. It should be certainly brought out from one corner the earth to the other and certainly shouldn't stay in Davos. Here, look at this. Here, here your brain can venture. You, you, you use a spirit here, right? And for me, this is one of the most important events in the time of the world economy in Davos. My agenda is really to connect with people that have a shared interest in impact and in the impact imperative and making sure that financing is going where it's needed and that we have innovation and that we're really measuring and we're really having the intended impact. There's a lot of talk about impact, but we need to make sure um, to put impact at the center of investment decisions. This is where we discuss the most important thing today, or even the most important thing of the whole World Economy Forum. What's happened here has to go out to the world. We're here in Davos, where it's, we're trying to get... You know, meeting um, uh, political leaders, uh, meeting people from completely different industries to talk about things that are a little bit more longer term and sustainable. What is good for me is also you get some new inputs, uh, some challenging ideas, sometimes out of the box um, discussion, so that's really great. There's not a lot of uh, what you would call normal people here. Everybody here is extraordinary. 
literally everyone you meet, and that's that's special. You're operating worldwide. I will participate in a podium discussion about future mobility, and that's very important to us, to Volvo. There is a, is a, a movement towards giving back uh, freedom and control to individuals. There has been a lot of movement towards big companies owning a lot of data. We don't want to be that. And with blockchain and, and other things, you see that there is initiative coming back of giving freedom back to individuals. And that's something uh, we want to be part of. And I think that's one of the, on a personal, but also on a, on a Volvo perspective, it's, it's one of the most interesting developments right now in the world. Interesting topics, great people today again to share the panel with, with Volvo and, and, uh, and also CEO of, uh, of Lamborghini who I know uh, very well, so it's, uh, oh, it's great to be here. Well, I think that the automotive industry is doing a lot and is doing a big effort to make sure that the sustainability is at the center of the agenda. In our small world of Lamborghini, very prestigious, very unique in a niche, you know, we have doubled the site and be able to do a CO2 neutral company and we have, you know, that very clear in our mind. But as I said, it's not only the automotive industry has to move in this direction, it's the entire world that has to make sure that it's at the center of their thought and the project for the future. to present the Business Lead program. It's an integration program for educated asylum seekers or nowadays refugees. And uh, it's a fast track to integration to the Finnish business culture and as well to getting employed in Finland. So my background, I have been a refugee and I was employed through the Business Lead program. And I just wanted here to share, to share my, my experience with other colleagues or other, other people at the event. So perhaps they could take the Business Lead and, uh, how do you say, adopt it in their countries. The popular media has this notion that this is just the elites of the world coming together, the rich and the elites. That couldn't be further from the truth because we have a lot of people here who work in nonprofits. We have a lot of people here like myself who are technologists. Uh, and we all have this opportunity to meet people in positions of power, in corporate, in government. And so this is a place for us not only to meet people but to share our, our ideas as let's say corporate leaders and government leaders have to make policy. They hear from people like us and I think they take us seriously here. The food is delicious, the company is amazing and the, look at this view. Who wants to miss this? This is the place where the, all the energies are and uh, I think that we need to bring home uh, what we are collecting here. <laughs> <laughs>